Energy officials from South Africa recently enlisted the help of U.S. government agencies and companies to assist them in the implementation of smart grid projects in the region. The U.S. Trade and Development Agency stepped in to support South Africa's energy goals by hosting a reverse trade mission to site visits in Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and Atlanta, Georgia. Well, this particular reverse trade mission is focused on smart grid technologies. Uh, it's for South Africa. It's, it's not a regional trip, so it's very focused on the South African market. And uh, we've brought a range of decision makers across to the United States on a, a two-week trip uh, to interact with various utilities and private sector companies uh, as well as government authorities uh, where we're engaging with people who have experience with smart grid technologies. South Africa is in the process now of trying to work out their national uh, strategy with regards to smart grid and this trip is really in support of them working out what that national strategy should look like, what technologies they might need to, to install on in their existing infrastructure and really to work out what the opportunities are in putting those advanced technologies in place. The Smart Grid Reverse Trade Mission included a meeting with officials from the Maryland Public Service Commission to learn about energy policy issues. The trip also featured a visit to Georgia-based energy management company Converge and a stop at General Electric's digital energy headquarters in Atlanta. Now the opportunity here today at GE Energy's Digital Energy World Headquarters and our Smart Grid Center of Excellence is a great opportunity to bring different stakeholders from the utilities, from the government, uh, and from the regulatory bodies together to help really hear the message across the different stakeholder groups. This is a great opportunity and experience to leverage the potential um, not only from uh, the awareness that USTDA and other agencies bring to um, the constituents in those countries, right, but also the opportunity to engage additional trade and exportation of some of the technologies with the local presence that we have within the country as well, right, so that they can understand the, uh, the global nature of our business, but also the capabilities that we can bring. So this has been uh, extremely uh, impactful and, and useful of our time and hopefully the trade mission's time as well. Following their stay in Georgia, USCDA brought the South African delegation to Philadelphia where they met with employees from PICO, an electric and gas utility that serves 1.6 million customers in Pennsylvania. So PICO, we're, we're the electric and gas provider for southeastern Pennsylvania. We represent Philadelphia and the surrounding counties, including Bucks, Montgomery, Delaware, Chester, and York counties. Sure. Today is, a, I would say, accumulation of uh, several months of work. Uh, this started off about last fall when I had the opportunity to visit South Africa and speak about our project and learn a lot more what's going on in the South African environment as far as their needs for the smart grid and, and in particular their load growth and needs way, means to uh, keep that in check and be able to serve their customers. So uh, this is an equivalent exchange where several of the representatives have been able to come to Philadelphia to see uh, firsthand the number of different projects and facilities that we're putting in place. And hopefully they'll uh, get new ideas on how to bring similar technologies back to their homeland and uh, have successful implementations as well. In addition to the site visits and meetings with U.S. companies, regulators, and utilities, the South African energy officials attended a business briefing at USTDA's headquarters in Arlington, Virginia. At the business briefing, members from the delegation met with more companies who shared their technologies and services. Leaders from South Africa energy utilities also spoke about their smart grid goals and challenges to the U.S. companies who attended the event. Uh, in South Africa, we are actually at a a bad stage of uh, developing smart grids and we actually want to gather information and make partnerships with the US uh, regarding uh, how the regulator how the regulators internationally took part in the development of the smart grids in the electricity industries and um, in terms of the standards and the regulatory frameworks that they uh, develop in order to make the smart grid uh, networks or the smart grid concepts to be um, um, successful in their countries. So as uh, the national regulator, we are actually um, um, uh, trying to ensure that we, we learn from other international organizations that are like us in terms of actually supporting the industry to, to be able to, to, to implement this uh, smart grid concept in a more efficient and more uh, effective way in our country. USTDA programs like the South Africa Reverse Trade Mission provide opportunities for U.S. businesses to gain first-hand knowledge into overseas export opportunities. 
But more importantly, these tours and visits also help create partnerships and aid other countries in meeting development goals. I'm Steve Lewis reporting, USTDA Public Affairs.